What is up you guys, Competent Gamer here bringing you back another video. This is episode 5 to my LSPDFR installation tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install realistic guns to your LSPDFR game. Now, before we get started, keep in mind that's because we are changing files in-game. It is very, very important that we keep backups of all of our files. So, before we do anything, before we download anything, before we install anything, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a folder here. And we're going to call this gun backups and this is going to be the folder where we put all the backups for each of the the guns that we're going to be changing today today i'm going to be showing you how to install uh, three weapons it's going to be the glock pistol the taser the x26 taser and we're going to be replacing the carbine rifle with the m4a1 now as you can see obviously i already have these uh files downloaded and put here on my desktop but i'm going to show you where you can find these mods now of course i'm only going to be showing you how to install three guns but the 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 general installation procedure is the same for most weapons that you can find on either lspdefar.com or gta5 slash, or slash mods uh, dot com. So to download the mods that we're going to be installing today, all of these links will be provided in the description box below. But the first gun that we're going to be installing is the Max Payne 3 Glock by Olanov. Now, this one recently had an update. Uh, in late February but this one had uh, is the, the the install for this particular version of the mod is a bit more uh, automatic in, instead of coming with the files that you can just place into the into the specific patch day now it comes with the dot OIV file that you would just automatically run in open IV however I didn't see an uninstaller .oiv file, so I'm going to avoid this one, and I'm going to instead install the 2015 version of this mod. So to get that, we're just going to go over here down to this green download button here, and then we're going to click on this green download button here. Now again, as I've said, I already have this, uh, this mod downloaded, so I'm not going to be doing that. But you go ahead and click on that one, save it to your desktop, and you should be able to work with it later. Now, the next gun that we're going to be installing is the X26 Taser by Buford T. This one is an incredibly amazing uh, Taser mod. It is extremely customizable, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But here's some screenshots so you can get an idea of what that Taser looks like. So this is the one that we're going to be uh, replacing. And now to install this one, just scroll down here to this blue download this file button. Click on it. And then you're going to want to click on this version right here, 1.1.0. And you're just going to click on this blue download button. That'll take you to the next page where you can, where the download for this mod will start. Now, to replace our carbine rifle, we're going to be downloading the Colt M4A1 by Metroid Guy. This is an amazingly beautiful assault rifle that features a ton, and, and I mean a ton, of customization options. Uh, now, for this particular mod here, you're only going to get this base M4A1 assault rifle. You're going to get something that looks a little bit more realistic with the iron sights here. Uh, and then everything else is pretty much the same. You're going to be using the default grip, the default flashlight, suppressor, the scope, everything that comes with the default uh, carbine rifle in GTA 5. That's what you're going to get from this particular mod. So to download this one, you're just going to go ahead and click on this green download button here. And then click on this one here to start the download for that. And, that, and for this one, you're only going to get that rifle. You're only going to get this rifle here. And you also have the option to download this uh, M203 grenade launcher. Now, this grenade launcher here is just a purely aesthetic uh, choice. It doesn't actually func it doesn't actually feature a functional grenade launcher. It's purely just to make your guns look a little bit more beefier, a little bit more uh, military-like. However, if you want to include these nice looking suppressors, this reflex scope here and this uh, image here, it comes with a different looking flashlight, an ACOG scope and a textured magazine. If you want those extra attachments, you need to download the supplementary mod here. You know, to get so you can get the attachments seen in the screenshots. You need to get the supplementary uh, mod by Metroid Guy, the Weapons Attachment Pack. Now, this one features a ton of customization options for the M4A1 that we just saw there. This has flashlights, magazines, suppressors, scopes, and I mean it—it it has everything, anything to make your guns look just incredibly, incredibly realistic and incredibly awesome. So we're going to be installing this one as well. So we're just going to, for this one again, click on the green download button and then click on this one here. Now, once you get all these files downloaded, go ahead and move them to your desktop. You know, get them all sorted out where you can access them, access them pretty quickly. And I'll show you what to do with them in just a second. 
Okay, now that we're here on our desktop, we're going to be first installing the Glock pistol. Let's just open this RAR file up. Get rid of this little license notice here. And let's open up the README document. So it says here that we're going to be installing this mod through this pathway. We're going to be going through update x64 DLC packs. We're going to be installing in patch day, or the, the README says to go install in patch day 3NG. Uh, this pathway actually didn't work for me. The way I got this uh, this gun to actually show up in game was to install it in a different patch day and I'm going to be showing you uh, where to install that. So the first things first, we're going to open up OpenIV for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Windows. And we're just going to follow this uh, pathway until we get to the different patch day. So go to go to Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs. Now it tells us to install it into patch day 3NG. I'm going to be installing into patch day 8. And G because this is what works for me. I'm gonna go to dlc.rpf x64 models cd images weapons.rpf and you'll see here there are a bunch of files here these are all uh, just like object dictionaries for your different pistols your rifles and stuff like that just all the weapons in game as well as the texture dictionaries for those weapons so we're gonna go over here to this RAR file and we're going to open up the patch day 3ng file here and these are all the pistol files that we're going to be replacing for uh for this particular pistol so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for these particular files in our file of, in our folder over here so we're going to take the same name that's included here this one says w underscore pi underscore pistol let's type that in here now you'll notice that we have several different pistols here. We have the pistol, we have the pistol 50, pistol 50 Lux, and then the pistol Lux. We only need the pistol only. So we're gonna grab all of these different files. We need the pistol YDR, and then the pistol YD, YTD. We need the high YDR. And then I think these are, let's see, mags one, mags two, both the objects and the textures. And then we also need the high texture for the pistol. Right here. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight files. So these are all the files that we need to back up for this particular pistol. So we're gonna open up this uh, guns backup folder that we made earlier. As you see, I already got some folders here for all the different uh, guns that we're going to be replacing. I'm going to go open up the, fold, the folder for the pistol one, and we're just going to drag and drop these files in here. So now we have backups of these, so in case this, install, this installation doesn't go uh, the right way, anything gets messed up, we can always replace the files with the default files. Now, in order to replace this gun, we're going to click on Edit Mode, and we're just going to highlight and drag and drop these files into here. Now you'll notice if we click on this uh, drawable object file here we now have a Glock pistol now this mod also includes the ability to change the the image or the icon of the gun in the weapon wheel for GTA 5 and that's included here in this hud.ytd uh, fi uh, file here so let's just look here we're gonna be installing that to update update RPF patch data CD images and scale form generic so let's follow that pathway there Let's back, up over, let's back up over here to update. Let's clear our search filter. We're gonna go to update RPF. Gonna go to X64, patch, data, CD images, and then scale form generic. And then for this one, we're gonna find the HUD.YTD. And we're just gonna make a backup of this file as well. So that when we decide to bring back our original pistol, we have the original right there. And now we're just going to hit edit mode, say yes, and we're just going to drag and drop this file here. And now you have successfully installed your Glock pistol. Now that we have installed our Glock pistol, we're going to be installing the X26 Taser by Buford T. So let's open up this RAR file here, get rid of this license notification, and let's just open up the readme text document first. Now, if we look right here, where it says main installation, this is what I mean about the customization options available for this 
uh, taser mod. Not only do you have the ability to choose the color of the of the base and the cartridge on your taser, but you also get to choose the variant, like the actual shape of the taser. There's three options available: base, cam, and the XDPM taser. I'm a huge fan of the shape and the look of the XDPM, so that's the one that we're going to be installing. So we're going to be installing these to this pathway, which we've already seen before. It's the exact same pathway that we used to install the Glock pistol. So we're going to go to Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs, Patch Day 8 and G, DLC.RPF, X64, Models, CD Images, and Weapons.RPF. So let's just minimize this real quick. We're going to be working with the XDPM. And here are the four files that we need to uh, install for here. So we're just going to use the same, we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the Glock pistol. We're going to search up the name of this file. So that's W underscore PI underscore stun gun. And there's only four files here. So we're going to open up our backups folder. And we're going to put all of these files here into our taser file and that's those files there are backed up so now we can click on edit mode and then just drag and drop these files here so now our taser looks like this we see here that the taser itself is black and that the cartridge inside it is light green but we also actually have the option to change the colors right here in this file called color variant so if we click on this there's two sections for base which is just the the actual taser itself and cartridge which is this little green bit right here and what we have here is different uh, image files of uh, different colors we can have so if we click on the first one this one is just a standard black uh, taser texture, which is the one that def that comes by default on the taser. But if we click on this one, we can turn our taser yellow. We also have in the cartridge section, we have a yellow cartridge, which looks like this. Yellow cartridge. Ah, excuse me. A silver cartridge. And a green cartridge. Now these actually, uh, these uh, file, oh, these folder names, the 15 foot, 21 foot, 25 foot, don't actually have any kind of effect on the taser itself. These are just what the mod author decided to name them. But we can choose to uh, change the color here any way we want. And so the way we do this, I'll show you how to do this. For this one, we're gonna make our taser yellow with we're so we're going to start with a black taser with a green cartridge and we're going to turn it to a yellow taser with a silver cartridge so let's start that off here the way you do this is we're going to be using these two yellow folders so we're just going to drag these out of the uh, out of the rar file bring them here we're going to open up the high ytd file and we're going to replace this file here, this W underscore X26, with the W underscore X26 uh, file here that we have. Now we have two versions. We have one that's yellow and then one that's yellow low. The low version of this one, of, of the texture, goes into the stun gun YTD. The regular version goes to the stun gun high dot YTD because it's a higher texture. So we're going to take the high texture and we're going to replace it with this one so before we do that we're going to click on edit mode almost forgot that open the high quality texture dictionary here we're going to replace with the yellow one not the yellow low the yellow one going to save <clears throat> now we're going to move to the low texture dictionary we're going to open this one and then we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to, we're going to replace this with the low yellow the, the low yellow photo. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to go over here to cartridges. We're going to take the silver one. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to take these files here, put them here. And you notice that this one has W underscore X26 cart. And then this one is W underscore X26 cart low. So it's going to be the exact same way we did the, the yellow colors. We're going to open up the high texture. I'm going to take this one and we're going to replace it with the cart save that and then we're going to go into the low texture dictionary go to cartridge and replace that with the low cartridge 
could hit save. And now if we open up our drawable objects, the object for the stun gun, it's now yellow with a gray cartridge. Now that we're back here in the main directory for GTA 5 on OpenIV, we're going to open up the RAR file for the last gun we need to install, and that's the Colt M4A1 assault rifle along with the M203 grenade launcher. We're going to open up this folder here, and there's a, a how to install .txt file here. We're going to open that up. And here the monitor tells us that everything except for the drum mag, so everything in this folder that's titled the rest, is going to go to this pathway here. And this is literally the exact same pathway that we've been using to uh, install the pistol and the taser. So we're just going to go right back there. So I'm going to click on mods, update, x64, DLC packs, patch day 8 ng, dlc.rpf, x64, models, CD images, and weapons.rpf. So everything that's going to go in this location is everything but the drum mag. So we're going to click open on this folder. And you'll see here there are three different uh, kinds of folder. We have some files here and two folders here, one for the M203 grenade launcher and one for something that's called a rear sight flip down. And what that basically means is, is that these weapon files here correspond to this version here of the gun where the iron sight this bit right here is flipped up the ones contained in this folder rear sight flipped down is this gun where the iron sight is not in the way it's brought down so you can make the choice to, uh, to you know to install whichever one you want i personally want the iron sight flipped up so that's what i'm going to be installing but before we install the files the first thing we have to do is make a backup of the gun files just in case anything goes wrong with the installation we can always back up to the originals so if we open up here we got to look up the we're gonna do the exact same thing that we've done for the glock and the stun gun we're gonna look for the file here so it's w underscore ar underscore carbine rifle and we are just going to make copies of all we're going to back up all of these files because while this gun right here is only the carbine rifle to get the m203 grenade launcher attachment that actually replaces the the carbine rifle lux which if you actually click on these objects here the regular carbine rifle is just your standard carbine rifle but the carbine rifle Lux is actually the carbine rifle with the Yusuf Amir finish. So this is what we're going to be replacing here. So we're just going to take all of these files and back them up to our folder. As you can see here, I already have these backed up. I have a, I have a lot of different um, attachment files backed up, but don't worry about those right now. We'll get to that later. So the only thing you need to do right now is just back up these files here. The carbine rifle and the carbine rifle Lux drawable objects and texture dictionaries. Now that we have those backed up, we're going to click on edit mode. And just to make sure, I'm going to bring in these. I'm going to replace the regular carbine rifle. And then I'm going to replace the Yusuf Amir carbine rifle. Now if we look at if we open up these drawable objects files, we'll see that our carbine rifle has now turned into the M4A1 with the iron sight flipped up. And that the carbine rifle use of Amir finish has now turned into the M4A1 with the M203 grenade launcher. Now, if we just leave this uh, installed as is, all the attachments that we would use on this gun, such as like the flashlight, suppressors, scopes, grips and stuff, it would be the same default uh uh, attachments that we would get by default in GTA 5. There is one attachment that is provided in this um, pack and that's the drum mag which replaces the extended magazine. So we're going to open up this file here again and the drum mag goes in this file location. So we're going to follow that. So we're going to click out of here. We're going to turn off edit mode so we don't make any mistakes and we're going to go to mods update x64. We're going to go back to DLC pack so let's click here clear our search filter and instead of going to patch day 8 ng we're going to go to mp executive so let's look for that here there it is mp executive I'm going to click on dlc.rpf x64 models cd images and let's move a little forward weapons.rpf so now the weapons contained here in the drum mag folder are called carbine rifle box mag so let's look up 
W underscore AR underscore carbine. And we are replacing the carbine rifle both for the, we're going to be replacing the magazine for both the carbine rifle and the carbine rifle Lux. So we're just going to again make copies of these files. I already have them here box mag and box mag lux. Then we're going to click on edit mode. And just to compare, this is what the uh, extended or the big magazine would look like, both for the regular carbine rifle and the uh, the carbine rifle with the use of Fami are finished. And now we're just going to drag and drop these attachments here. And now we have a drum mag. The last thing we want to do, and this is purely a aesthetic choice, but one that I want to follow through with just because it bothers me ever so slightly. But here, if we read what, what it says in the in the how to install.txt file that the mod author provided for us, it says that if we don't want the goldish tone on the M203, we'll have to edit a particular line in the weapon components.meta file. What this is referring to is if, if we go back to the object files here where we install the guns, So if we look up for carbine rifle, and we go to the M203, which is the uh, carbine rifle Lux, when we put in, when we bring this gun in game by default without making this change, this grenade launcher will have parts of like some tints of the or some yeah some tints of the use of Amir finish. So if we don't want that, we need to implement this fix. If you do want that, you know you can look at it in game, see what, what it looks like, and see if it's for you. If you don't like it, we'll implement implement this change. I've already seen what it looks like. I don't want the change, or I don't want the 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 gold tints on the on the grenade launcher. So I'm going to implement this change. So we're going to go and follow this pathway. So we're going to go close this out of here. Turn off edit mode. We're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods, clear our search history, our search filter, update, update RPF, common, data, and AI. And we're looking for the weapons component dot meta file. Now for this one, uh, OpenIV does include a text editor in you know in, in its in its system but I personally don't like to use it so instead I'm going to drag this file out and I'm going to hit edit with notepad plus plus and I'll uh, I'll link a I'll attach a link to notepad plus plus to the download in the description box below so you can get that set up and running your computer and you can follow along this way otherwise you can just use the text editor in open IV so I'm gonna hit edit with notepad plus plus Move this to the side, and it says that we are looking for components carbine rifle Varmod Lux. So it's around line 1245. So let's look. At, we can actually, instead of scrolling all the way down, we can just hit Control F, and we can look for component underscore carbine rifle. And here we go, Varmod Lux. And we need to change the tint index override value from to, from two to zero. So let's look for this piece here. And that's contained right here. Now, as you can see, uh, I already have it set to zero because I've already, because uh, I've actually installed this file before. Um, but if, you, if by default yours will say two, so just if you want that change, if you want to get rid of the goldish tone on the M203 grenade launcher, go ahead and change that value from two to zero. Then you're going to hit file, save, you're going to exit out of this, exit out of here, and then you're just going to hit edit mode once more and drag this file back inside. Now, I actually have already, I already had the change implemented, um, so I don't need to bring this back in. All I have to do is just delete this file. But normally, if you, you know, if you brought that out, it had the two and you changed it to zero, you just hit file, save, and then drag it, and then bring it back into the main directory. So now with all that installed and this change implemented, we're gonna hop in game and just take a quick look at our Glock pistol, our stun gun, just to see that all the right, everything was installed properly, all the changes were made properly. And then later I'll show you how to install the weapons attachment pack that was also provided for the M4A1 assault rifle. So we're just gonna hop in game and I'll see you guys in just a sec.
Okay, now that we're here in game with Franklin, let's go ahead and see if our, our guns uh, installation actually worked. So here we see that the uh, that the photo for the pistol actually did change it to the Glock. We do in fact have our Glock pistol. Let's go into first person mode. Take a look at our stun gun. And it's yellow with the gray, with the silver cartridge that we did install. It, and it is the XDMP style of the X26 Taser. And here's our M4A1 assault rifle. Now, if we open up our trainer and go to weapons and we chart and we go to the uh, the um, the attachment menu. Here we go. We'll see that if we give ourselves the extended clip, it's the regular old extended clip from uh, from the base game. If we give ourselves a flashlight, it's just a normal flashlight. Suppressor is the same. Scope is the exact same one as the one from the game from the in-game. No change here. And if we give ourselves the grip. It's the exact same grip that is in game. Now, if we give ourselves the Yusuf Amir finish, however, that's when we get the M203 grenade launcher. However, as you can see on the scope itself, we still get that golden tint. Now, we also got rid of the golden tint on the M203 grenade launcher by making that change to the weapon components.meta file. But again, the attachments that we have here are still just the default, the same default attachments that we would get. Um, that we get uh, in, in, in game. To actually get the more cooler attachments like the ACOG and reflex scope and all the textured magazines and stuff like that, we have to install the weapons attachment pack. And just to finish, here's the drum magazine. So now, we're going to hop out of game. We're going to go, gonna, we're gonna go back to the desktop and where I'm going to show you how to install the weapons attachment pack so that you can get all those really cool uh, attachments for this assault rifle. Now that we're here, back at the desktop, I'm going to show you how to install the weapons attachment pack for the M4A1 assault rifle. So, first things first, we're going to open up OpenIV for GTA 5 on the Windows version. And while that's opening up, we're just going to move this to the side, and then we're also going to open up this RAR file for the weapons attachment pack. Get rid of this little notification here. And again, we have a how to install.txt document here, so let's just open that up. And it says here that the uh, files that we're going to be installing is going to be going to this pathway. And does this pathway look familiar? That's right. It's the exact same one that we've been installing all of our files to, with the exception of the box mag or for the for the drum mag. But it's the exact same pathway that we've been using for these for the entire time. So let's just follow it. So we're going to go to mods, update, x64, DLC packs, patch day 8ng, DLC.rpf, x64, models. CD images and weapons.rpf. I don't even have to say it anymore because we've been here a billion times. So now we're going to install all of our attachments here. Now let's start at the top. For flashlight, we have two different uh, flashlights here. And if we open this up, these are the files that we're gonna that we're gonna be replacing. Now, if you actually look at both folders, you'll notice that the files that they replace are the exact same ones. So, unfortunately, for uh, the M4A1 assault rifle, we only have one. We can only choose one flashlight. Unfortunately, there's no there's no going around it. So, we're just gonna look up the the name of this attachment. So, it's AT underscore or sorry, W underscore. A T underscore A R underscore F L S H, and we're only going to be doing uh, flashlight, not flashlight two. So, let's take a look at the original flashlight here, and this is the flashlight that we see on the assault rifles, the carbine rifle, the AK forty seven, all all the assault rifles. So. Before we do anything, of course, remember, we need to make backups of this. So we're only going to be making backups, for the flashlight at least, of the of these files contained here. So that's the uh, AR underscore flash YDR, the AR underscore flash YTD, and the AR flash or uh, flashlight high dot YDR. Those are the only ones that we're going to be replacing. We're not going to be replacing the Lux, the PD Lux, or the two, just the original flashlight.
Now, again, I already have this backed up here. But this is that is when you got we, we, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to back up those three files. So once you have those backed up, you can just choose uh, which one, uh, which flashlight you want. And now, of course, you know if you if you don't know what these flashlight looks like, we can just check them. So we're going to hit edit mode, and let's take a look at the Surefire flashlight. We're going to replace, and then we're just going to bring this in here. We're just going to drag it and drop it, and see that number changed. So let's open this up. And that's what this uh, flashlight here, the Surefire, that's what that one looks like. A little bit slim, you know, it, it looks about the same as the, reg as the regular default flashlight, just with a little, you know, extra wires and stuff. But then if we back up here and go to the PEQ15 flashlight and we replace the exact same file, we get the new flashlight. And that's what that one looks like. It's the more beefier looking one. Now, personally, I'm a huge fan of this one, so this is the one that I'm going to be going with. If you want the other one, just go back to the same file and just drag and drop all the files, but this is the one that I like. So, I'm going to drag in all of the rest of these files, and now if we click on this uh, object here, now it has the textures, and that's what that's going to look like. Alright, now for the next attachment, we're going to go for mags. Now, fortunately for mags, uh, it's replacing both the Carbine Rifle Mag 1 and the Carbine Rifle Lux Mag 1. So we can get both uh, magazines. So let's look up W A R W underscore A R underscore Carbine Rifle. And the ones that we're going to re be replacing is going to be the Lux Mag 1 YDR and YTD and the regular Mag 1 YDR with TD. So that's and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop these files. So now, if we take a look at our mags, the carbine rifle, the base one, looks like this. It's a bit more textured. It's still black, but a bit more textured. And if we look at the Lux, that's this one. Oh, hold on. I just did the wrong file. Uh, mag one. There we go. That's this one, this tan textured one. Okay. On to the next one. Now, the scopes here is actually pretty interesting, so I'm going to leave that one for last. So we're going to move over to the suppressor one. Uh, and this one, we're going to be replacing both the regular suppressor and the Lux suppressor. So we're going to go W underscore AT underscore AR underscore SUP. And we're going to be replacing the regular SUP and the, the Lux. So we're going to be backing up these files. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to double check. And just gonna go ahead and drag and drop these files to your backups folder. And then once you have those files backed up, I'm gonna drag and drop these suppressors into this folder. Now to compare, before we do that, this is what the suppressor looks like normally in game for the regular assault rifle and for the Yusuf Amir finish. And now if we bring these over. Drag them and drop them. We get a smooth black suppressor here for the regular for the base carbine rifle, and for the Yusuf Amir finish, we have yet another smooth black suppressor. Now, going back to the scopes, this is actually interesting because there are four different kinds of scopes. There is an ACOG scope, an aim point scope, uh, a reflex scope, kind of, and or an EOTech scope, and then an M145 scope. Now, if you just want to open up this here, these are going to re be replacing the scope medium. So let's go ahead and look these up. So W underscore AT underscore scope underscore medium. And that's going to be this scope that we're going, to we're going to be replacing. Some of them, like the ACOG, have only options to replace the medium scope. So just this one that I just showed you. But others, such as the EOTech here, have files for both the medium and the medium lux, which is this one here, which is the same scope, just with the use of Amir finish. Medium. So really, we can we have an option here. We can either for for scopes like the EOTech here, we can replace both the use of Amir finish and the base scope with the same uh, attachment. Same thing here with the M145 attachment. Or we can make a blend of both of them. For example, I can replace the medium files with the ACOG scope, 
but then I can replace the Lux files with the EOTech scope. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So go ahead and see what combinations of scopes you like, what, what do you want to see in your game, and just make sure that you're replacing, uh, that one set of scope is replacing the medium files, and the another set of scope uh, is replacing the medium Lux file, because you have that flexibility. So again, we're going to make copies of, or we're going to back all of these files up. As you see here in my folder, again, I already have these backed up, but just make just make sure you make a backup. So now with edit mode turned on, I'm going to replace the medium scopes, the base scopes, with an ACOG scope. And then I'm going to replace the Lux scopes with the EOTech scope. So now I have two different kinds of scopes in my game. I have the ACOG scope for the base rifle. And I also have the EOTech scope for the Lux finish. Now, unfortunately, if we go back here to the uh, how to install .txt, there are a couple issues with the EOTech, uh, the way it's lined up. It's not lined up properly. So here, the mod author offers us a fix. Now, this one is for the special carbine rifle, but we're not replacing the special carbine. We're replacing the regular carbine rifle. We're going to be going to this location here to implement this change here so that these so that the little reticle inside the EOTech scope is lined up properly so we're going to follow this pathway here so we're going to clear out our search turn off edit mode we're going to go to mods update oh hold on update update rpf common data ai and here we're going to be replacing the vanilla weapons.rpf. So that was going to be this one, weapons.meta. Again, like we did before, we're going to drag this out of here and we're going to edit with notepad. And we're going to be looking for the first person scope attachment offset for the carbine rifle. So to find this better or to find this easy, we're just going to type in carbine rifle. Here we have the weapon carbine rifle, and we're going to look for this portion here, first person scope attachment offset. Let's just scroll down a little bit. It's a bit of ways here. All right. First person scope attachment offset right here. Now, by default, this Z is set to minus 0.0280. In order to apply the fix so that the reticle for the EOTech scope is lined up properly, we need to change it to negative 0.0292. So let's go hop in here, 0.292, and we're just gonna let that go, exit out of this, save, and we're gonna implement that change by hitting edit mode and dragging this weapons.meta file back in here. Now, there won't be any change here in the size of the file because all we did was change one element of what, what was already there. But now we can just turn off edit mode and all of our custom attachments plus their fixes have been successfully installed to the game. So let's hop back into GTA 5 and see if we in fact did it correctly. All right, everybody, now that we're back in game with Franklin, let's go ahead and open up our menu here for the trainer. We're going to click on weapons. We're going to give ourselves the carbine rifle. And if you look there, you can already see that the uh, base magazine for the rifle is already is different than the one that we get by default in game. It's the textured one that we installed. Now, if you go back into the menu here for uh, attachments, let's just go ahead and take a look at all of our attachments. So now the extended clip is the exact same one that we've had before. No change there. Flashlight. It's the beefier flashlight that we've had that we just installed and it does in fact work. Let's go ahead and try to change that. It's a little hard to see because it is daytime, but it, there we go. It's, it's it is working. We do hear clicking. Now we're going to go back to that menu. Going to put in our suppressor. There we go. The flat black suppressor that we just installed going to add in our ACOG scope and if we go into first person it is in fact a working scope now unfortunately the uh, the reticle there isn't 
perfectly lined up with the iron side, but it's nothing too serious. And then, if we go back to the menu here. Grip hasn't changed. But now, if we give ourselves the Yusuf Amir finish, all of the attachments that we have installed that uh, also get altered by the Yusuf Amir finish uh, will get changed. For example, our ACOG scope will turn into the EA Tech scope, and our textured magazine will turn into the TAN magazine. So if we click on uh, Accept here, all the changes get implemented. So now, uh, there, there was no change to the flashlight for the Yusuf Amir finish, but we do have our grenade launcher, we have our TAN magazine, and we also have our EATEX scope, which d is fixed this time. It is lined up with the iron sight. All right, everybody, with that out of the way, we have successfully installed our Glock pistol, our X26 taser, and our M4A1 assault rifle. I also showed you how to change the color on the X26 taser, and I've showed you how to install the weapons attachment pack so you have more expanded customization options on the M4A1 assault rifle. If you like the video, go ahead, drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi. Subscribe if you're new and if you really want to, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content. The next video that I have lined up for this installation tutorial series is how to install EUP, uh, how to install the menu, law and order, and serve and rescue. And then after that, we're going to be showing you how to install uh, some vest add-ons so you have more, uh, ver more variety with the vest that you can wear in LSPDFR. So I hope you're all looking forward to that. That video should be coming out next week. So like I said, if you really like the video, drop a like. If you have any questions, got any confusion, you know, if you any, if you were confused at any part of this, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to help you as quickly as I can. Subscribe if you're new. If you really want to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content. This has been Competent Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and bye bye.